I'm on a shark research boat off the coast of South Africa. But the actual story begins over 7,000 miles away on the other side of the earth. And it started as a ridiculous story. I was in Asia and I heard about a dish called shark fin soup. One bowl could cost $200. The shark fin has no flavour, but eating it proves you're rich and that proves you're crazy. Basically, it proves you're a crazy rich Asian. The least diverse movie I've ever seen. Plus, there was a rumour that the soup has a very special magic power. Is it good for sex? Does it help with f***ing? I uh, know. All right. Uh, can't help to ask. Mm. <laughs> when the soup is made, do they use the whole shark? Just the fin. Hmm. Just the fin? Something about this soup seemed fishy. And Hong Kong imports an insane 5,700 tonnes of shark fins a year. Where do you even find that many? Where do you get your actual shark fins from? If they're from overseas, they come from Indonesia or Africa. Well, I do love burning through Comedy Central's money. So to find out more, I bought a first-class ticket to South Africa. I found two shark researchers and climbed aboard their vessel. I think we're going to need a bigger boat. <laughs> Jaws. And we headed out onto the gentle South African waters. It's not very outdoorsy. Oh. And that brings us to now. So once I clean this seagull shit off myself, I've got to test for these so-called marine biologists to see if I can truly trust them. OK, I'm going to see if you're shark experts. Which shark is this? Let's go with, like, a fetal tiger shark. What? What shark's that? Is it supposed to be a white shark? It might be easier to recognise as a white shark if it was wearing a MAGA hat. <laughs> Which shark is this? No idea. You don't know who this is? I don't have a television. Well, I bet you have a laptop and you watch Netflix non-stop and then you brag about not having a TV. I know you're kind. <laughs> All right, their lack of TV knowledge means that these are, in fact, real scientists. Let's get down to business. How many sharks are killed in the world each year? 70 to 100 million. Holy hell! I thought you were going to go 1 million, 2 million, 100 million. How many do you reckon we got left? I mean, we can't even begin to answer that. We know more about the surface of the moon than we do our own ocean floor. So you think we really went to the moon? <laughs> <laughs> and obviously with sharks, they're incredibly crucial to an ecosystem. Most of them are top predators in this area. So what you're saying is we need them to eat shit? to keep everything good. We need to keep a balance. And the problem is, as humans, we've tipped that balance beyond recovery. It's not just fishing. Fishing's a huge part of it. Uh, or finning, which is a part of overfishing. Have you ever heard of shark finning before? It's an incredibly brutal practice. Whole sharks are brought on board, and their fins are physically cut off, and the rest of the animal's body is then chucked back overboard. And what happens to the animal when it's chucked overboard? It's like cutting your arms and legs off and chucking you in. You've not really got much of a, uh, of a chance of survival. This sinks or...? Die a very painful, yeah, slow death. Jesus. And it's all being done for some shit bowl of soup. The fin is the valuable bit, so poachers just toss the rest of the shark away. Is it happening here in South Africa, the shark finning? It's happening all over the world. It's a global <laughs> crisis. Would you like to see, like, like a shark poacher just Every now and again, one of them get eaten. Well, it just happened now in South Africa that poachers were, were killed by lions. And... Yeah, that gives me an erection. I love that. <laughs> I love the idea of, like, like, like someone's hunting and then the lion eats them. I, have, I have feel no pity for the, for the hunter at all when that happens. I'm like, f***ing suck a dick, man. You got f***ing eaten by a lion. Now that I know about shark finning, it's back to Hong Kong. F I could have just recorded it while I was there. I want to see the neighbourhood where shark fins are sold. Unsurprisingly, it's super creepy, and some of them even come gift-wrapped. In recent years, environmental activists have targeted these markets, which might explain all these no-filming signs that I don't give a f about. Where are we right now? So we are in the major shark fin trade hub in the world. Diego Cardenosa is an expert on the shark fin trade. Who was the first guy to f***ing cut one off and go, this would taste good? Seems like a big leap to me. Yeah, but it was like many, many centuries ago that that happened. They're obviously not hiding this. This is very clearly out in the open. Yeah. So this isn't a thing that, that are done in back alleys or behind closed doors. Yeah, there's nothing illegal in Hong Kong or there's not any law that prohibit you to have fins like this. 
See, buying a shark fin is legal in much of the world, including a lot of the US, as long as the entire shark is brought back to the shore and used. But when you just see a fin in the shop window... That fin, if it's from a hammerhead that came illegally, mm -hmm. once it's in the shops, there's no way if it came illegally or legally. So it's like laundered almost. Right. Are these sharks endangered? Some species are... Um... How many animals did she kill to get that? <laughs> I'm telling you, zero f given. Yes, these days, people who give zero f are everywhere. So selfishly, I want to see some sharks up close before it's too late. And I've always wanted to do a shark dive. Those are safe, right? <laughs> see? Why not? So it's time to add a name to history's greatest sea explorers. Cousteau, Cameron, and now, Jeffries. <laughs> oh, Jesus Christ, that's cold. Holy balls, that's cold. <laughs> All right, just don't shit yourself. <laughs> shit yourself, don't shit yourself. Don't shit yourself. <laughs> oh! I wish I could say this really happened, but we had to fake it for TV. Because actually, we didn't see one shark. Just a bloody seal. This happens on a lot of shark dives, but we're dangerously close to making this a permanent reality. How do we solve this problem? Well, it's a really complex situation because obviously the demand is constantly there. Research is key and certainly support for marine science is crucial. It's crucial to the health of our planet. So, newsflash, buying a shark fin will not help you f better. But if you still believe otherwise after watching this, then I can guarantee no one wants to f you. So, let's all open our wallets to support research before it's too late.